The Windows Registry Editor can be a scary place. But if you know what you're doing, the Registry Editor can be a tool that can help you optimize your PC, improve performance in games, and increase your FPS. Welcome to TechSplash, and in this video I will be showing you how to optimize your Windows 10 or 11 PC for gaming using the Registry Editor. Without further ado, let's dive right in. Before we get into the registry optimizations, we're going to want to create a system restore point. To do this, go to the start menu and type in system restore, just like so, and you will see create a restore point, just click on that. In here, you're going to want to click on configure, and then on this little slider, you can go ahead and move it to around 5%, hit apply, and OK. You're going to want to hit create, and then this is your restore point, you can call it whatever you want, I'll call it RS1, restore point 1, hit create. And as you can see, the restore point was created successfully. You can close out of this and just hit OK here and you're done with that. Now we can start optimizing. To access the Windows Registry Editor, go down to the Start menu once again and type in Registry Editor. It should pop up just like that and you can click on it. Hit Yes on the dialog box and it should pop up just like that. But if for some reason you can't access it like that, you can right click on the Start menu, go to Run. And in the Run box, you can type in REG. E D I T reg edit just like that hit enter here's the registry editor it may seem a little daunting but the changes we are making today are completely safe just avoid changing any values that you aren't sure about in the case that anything in your system gets messed up you can access the system restore point and everything should go back to normal now for the first optimization we will be disabling fast startup you might be asking what does that have to do with my pc performance well, Fast Startup is a Windows feature that allows your PC to boot up really quickly after being shut down. This may seem good, but it doesn't allow Windows to properly clear the cache and all the errors that are sitting on your system from the last session. That's why we will disable it. To do so, head down to H key local machine, then go to system, then open current control set, then find control, then scroll down until you find session manager, then go down to power, and then you'll have all these keys and you're going to want to find hyper boot enabled. It looks just like this hyper boot enabled and double click on it. And in this value data, you're going to want to make sure it's equal to zero and hit OK. If it's set to one or any other value, that means hyper boot, AKA fast boot is on. So you're going to want to make sure it's set to zero. Now don't collapse these folders just yet because there's another optimization here, but that optimization may only apply to some of you. To check if you can apply this change, go back to the side panel, close out of session manager and scroll up until you find power. Click on that. Under power, you might have a folder called power throttling. I personally don't, but if you do, you can click on it. And then here, there should be an option called power throttling off. You want to set this value to zero. If you don't have power throttling, no worries, it usually just means that it's already disabled on your system. Now you can collapse out of all of these folders, and you're done with that one. Next, we'll optimize our network. To do that, go back into H key local machine, this time go to software, go down to Microsoft, then scroll all the way down until you find something called Windows NT, go into current version, expand that, go down, find M, go to multimedia, system profile, and click on system profile once. Now in system profile, you might have two options. You might have more than this, but we're only going to be messing with network throttling index and system responsiveness. Let's start with network throttling index, double click on it. And whatever's in here, it might be an A or it might be a zero or something like that. You're just going to want to close out of all of that and just hit the F key eight times. So just F on your keyboard and then just hit it eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just like so, there should be eight Fs. You can hit OK and that's set and now for system responsiveness you're going to want to double click on it and set this to zero if you're getting bad performance with this set to zero you can try setting it to one but usually zero is the better value now go back to the side panel here and then double click on system profile double click on tasks and then click on games and then in here you'll see some options you want to make sure that your gpu priority is set to eight your priority is set to six and then for scheduling category you're going to want to type in high h i g h and then for sfio priority you're going to want to put in the same thing h i g e and hit okay and then these values should be the same as mine here now once again you can collapse out of all of these folders now we're going to go back into h key local machine Click on software, go down until you find Microsoft, then go down to until you find policy manager. It looks just like that. Double click on it, then go into default, then find application management right here. Double click, 
then go down to allow game DVR and click on that. Now you're going to find this key called value, double click on it, and you're going to want to set this to zero. Now that that's done, you can close out of all of these once more. And now for the last optimization, go to H key current user, then go to system, go to game config store and click on game config store. In here, you're going to want to set game DVR DXGI honor. Double click on that, set it to one. Now EFSE feature flags, double click on that, set it to zero. Game DVR enabled, set this to zero as well. Game DVR FSE behavior mode, double click on that. Make sure that's equal to two. And then game DVR honor user FSE behavior mode, double click on this and set this to zero. Once you're done with all of the optimizations in here, you're going to want to go back to game config store, double click on it. And then here you'll see under game config store, you'll have two folders. Go to the one called children, right click on it and hit delete. And then the one called parents, you're going to right click on it and hit delete once more. And then we're done with that optimization. After that, you can go ahead and close out of the registry editor as we are done. And that's it. I hope these registry commands improve your PC performance. If they somehow negatively impact your experience, keep in mind that you have a system restore point that you can use anytime. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave a like and hit subscribe if you want more PC optimizations. Leave a comment for video requests, and I'll see you in the next video.